So in 2021, more than 104,000 students, children were homeless in New York City. A hundred over 104,000. Yeah, you heard me right on that. Were homeless last year. The United States of America should be ashamed of itself. How about we put some money, try to eradicate that homelessness? Shall we do that? Over half a million people sleep out on the streets at night in this country every single night or in shelters somewhere every single night in this country. How about we put a little passion and compassion and money and fire right there? So new data was released Wednesday and that data found that one in 10 students live in the following. In 10, one in 10 students lived either in shelters, 30,000 of them, doubled up with other families, 69,000 of them, almost 70,000. And in cars, abandoned buildings and outside, 5,500 of them in the United States of America. This data doesn't even include the influx of recently arrived homeless migrant children, doesn't include them. To put it in another way, let's look at this. The number of homeless students in New York has swelled from roughly 78,000 a decade ago to more than 114,000 at its peak in 2018. And the same size as the entire public school system of Philadelphia. Jackson, this is sad as hell. And the saddest part about it is that it's actually more expensive to society for these stats to be the case at all. And it's always interesting, like you know, one of the one of the I think benefits of growing up, because again, like I mentioned it briefly at the beginning of the show, but you know, my parents are older. My dad's like you know a little over forty years older than me, but him talking about how he watched the hoods across the country change, and outside of that, just how there used to be mental health wards and and different types of shelters around clinics that people could visit. And how much of a difference that used to make for people, but making society more punitive. And then, you know, as our homelessness numbers rise, we have cities putting spikes and stuff under bridges, basically so that homeless people can just go die somewhere. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's ultimately what that's about. So, you know, um, the punitive strategy doesn't work. And uh, for whatever it's worth, you know, for people talking about money, it's more expensive to do it this way. So, <laughs> if, you know, it's like the, the selfish causes. Don't even line up with reality at all. Does not line up at all. Let's put up this quick graph. Why is this happening? There's a housing shortage. Take a look at the average cost of a one bedroom in New York City. It is too expensive to live there at the highest $4,200 to 51, almost $5,200 at the high end and $1,700 to $2,000. 300 or 400 on the lower end. It's just too expensive. We know all of this has an impact on young people, has an impact on their family. And this country should be indeed ashamed of itself. Just because this is the reality today does not mean that it has to be the reality tomorrow. And we should work and fight like heaven and hell to make sure that no child and no family for that matter is out on the street and is homeless. Can we do that? Let's do that.